Okay, so some folks were interested in getting um, a walkthrough of how I've implemented my getting things done system in my Notion. So this is my main dashboard. Um, this is my favorite place in the world. It's the waterfront in Copenhagen. Um, hopefully I can go back next year um, if I can save the money and if coronavirus isn't a thing. <laughs> um, okay, so on my main dashboard, my very first page that I have here is my getting things done. So this is what my GTD dashboard looks like. I've got this great David Allen quote. Um, if you're not familiar with the book, Getting Things Done by David Allen, um, it's kind of a cult classic among personal productivity nerds. Um, he wrote it back in the early 2000s and he's done a couple of revisions since then. Uh, it's super popular. If, you're, if you don't have access to the book, if you can't afford it, um, there's a lot of great resources online, a lot of really fantastic summaries that you can read or you can watch on YouTube. Um, yeah, I really recommend if you're into personal productivity and you haven't tried the getting things done method um, to check it out. So this is where the meat of my getting things done is, are in these databases. So the first database I have is my inbox. And um, every morning I come in here and I just brain dump everything that I need to get done. And that's kind of the spirit of capturing tasks is just very rapidly taking everything that's in your head and getting it out of your head. Um, so you, you don't have to think about the same thing more than once. So I'll come in here and I'll add a task. Let's say I want to buy a new plant. It's almost my birthday. I'm gonna get some birthday money. I'm gonna spend it on a plant. Um, and then I assign an area of focus. So these are all of my areas of focus. Um, I'm gonna assign it to personal. Um, the status in my inbox defaults to, to clarify. I do that with a filter. Um, so my inbox only shows me things where the status says to clarify. I can assign it to a project if it's part of a larger project. I can give it some context, so um, I'll call it an errand. Um, and then once I've gone through and I've just dumped down, dumped out all of the tasks that um, I need to do, everything that's in my head, um, I start assigning statuses to everything. So um, my statuses are next actions, so things that I want to accomplish that day scheduled, things that I'm deferring, things that need to be done on a specific date, or things that I can put off, um, discarding things if it's just not actionable um, and it's not useful. I can put it under Sunday to get around to later, um, to, to clarify as the default in my inbox. If it's a multi-step, um, then I put it under projects. And then if it's something that I'm I'm waiting on someone else to take care of before I can finish the task, then I'll assign it to waiting on. So I'll show you where where it goes if I use these different statuses. So let's say I assign it next actions. So it gets out of my inbox and it goes right to the front of my main dashboard. So I have buy a new plant right here. So this is my to-do list for the day. Okay, now what if um, instead of putting it as next actions, I scheduled it. So if I uh, give it the status of scheduled, then it shows up in this next page in my getting things done dashboard, the schedule page. So I'll scroll down, scroll down here, buy a new plant, there it is. Um, and I'll assign it to a date. So let's say I'm going to go buy my plant on the 7th. So there it is on the 7th. And it shows up up here. So then what I do with these. So like, for example, what I'll do in the morning, since tomorrow is the 4th, I'll go through all of these. And I'll switch the status from scheduled to next actions. And that's my to do list for the day. Um, now, what if um, I uh, didn't want that scheduled and instead I wanted it for someday. Someday in the future. I don't know when. It's not urgent. I'll buy a new plant. Um, then that goes to my someday. So there's my buy a new plant. Personal someday. Um, I can also 
assign it as a project. So David Allen talks about anything that has two or more steps counts or two or more tasks associated with it counts as, as a project. So let's say buying a plant was for some reason a multi-step process. Uh, I could turn it into a project. Go back to my getting things done dashboard and I go to my projects database and here it is. So I could come in here. Um, I do have a project template, so I would assign my project template to it. It's going to take a little while. It's got to think. I think it's actually pulling up the entire database without filters. Um, because what I do when I pull up the project template is it shows me um, it has the filters ready to go. I just have to go through the drop down menu to um, um, apply the correct filters. Let's see if it'll, it's not. So if I go to like another one, so this online course that I'm wanting to put together. So it's the same getting things done database, except it's just filtered to only show me the tasks associated with this project. And then each of these tasks I can assign those same statuses to. Um, and so that's how my projects works. Um, I have a master task list that I don't really reference. I just kind of keep it around. So this is every every single thing that's that I have put into my inbox, everything that I've, everything that's associated with a project, everything that's scheduled, everything that's a next action. Um, yeah, master tasks. Um, I have an archive, which is um, tasks that I've completed and projects that I've completed. Um, I'm still kind of working out a system to regularly go through this and kind of clean it out. But um, And then my reference is like my little flowchart for how um, tasks get organized. And then my summary of the um, getting things done book. So yeah, so really, it's, this is just one database with a whole bunch of different filters applied to it in different places. Um, and what's nice is, so all of the different, all of my different areas of focus have different pages on my, um, my Notion main dashboard. So my main job, I'm a city planner for uh, Sandy, Oregon. So I can come in here and I have my same getting things done dashboard. Um, and it shows me the status of everything, um, what project it's associated with, if it's scheduled, what I'm waiting on. So this is the same getting things done database, just filtered to only show me where it's Sandy. And then I also um, have it uh, so that when I check off a, um, a task, check off a, a line, a row, um, that it goes away. Um, and then this project, so again, this is the Getting Things Done database, where anything that's associated with a project that has to do with this area of focus shows up here. So I have this um, for all kinds of things. So for example, I teach online for a platform called OutSchool. Um, same thing. I have my getting things done, everything that's associated with OutSchool. Um, I think that's the only thing I have on there that's the getting things done dashboard. But yeah, so it's really nice because um, very little of it has to be manual. Really the only manual things associated with this system are um, actually putting things in my inbox and then assigning a status to them. Um, and then context area focus, right? So putting in these tags, but that goes pretty quick. And then as soon as I, um, you know, get everything put in the way that I like it um, and assign a status to it, then it's just on its way. Um, it goes exactly where it needs to go, where I can find it, where it makes sense, where it's in the right context. Um, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Um, I am... I am thinking about putting this up as a template. Um, if you're interested in having this as a template, let me know. Um, it wasn't super hard to make. 
Um, if you know how to use like filters and connecting, you know, like putting the same database in, in different pages, uh, it's not super hard to make. Um, cool. Yeah. And then, oh, and one more thing. So one, we, one more thing he talks about in his book is uh, the horizons of focus. And that's kind of still something I'm working on. Um, yeah. Cool. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay.